Hi. Uh, today I'm going to go over subtracting in base 5. And I do have four examples for you. And on the side, I do have the base 10 going from 0 to 14. And what's equivalent to that in base 5? When you go from 0 to 4, that's the numbers we use in base 5. We can't use number 5. But they are called base 5 because counting from 0 up to 4, that's 5 numbers. In base 10, from 0 to 9, that's 10 numbers, and that's base 10. After 9, because it's filled, we open another digit with 1, and we make the 9 0. And we keep adding to the units digit up to 9. When it's filled, we do the same thing with base 5. For example, 4 is filled. We need to add one more unit, so we call it 5. As a value but which is one zero one zero means one five and zero units one one I don't want to call it eleven it's one five and one unit when you get to one four that's one five and four units by adding one more this four is taking place of the units place and it's the max that I could use so I need to make it zero and I need to add one five because when you add 1 to 4, that's another 5. That's why the second digit, it shows as 2, which is two fives. So you have two fives and zero units. And you keep doing the same thing over and over and over. Okay, let's get started. The first example, subtracting base 5, as you could see, I have 4, 3, minus 2, 4. I don't want to call it... I'm trying to avoid to call it 43 minus 24 because that's our system. But notice that uh, the numbers that they have, 3 in the units place minus 4 in the units place, we cannot do. So we have to go next door and subtract 1. So we make the 4, 3, that's 4 5s by the way. We'll make it 3 5s and we'll borrow 1 5 next to the 3 units on the right side will make it one three what is one three one three means one five and three units that is one three right here so now that's what we have we have one three which is actually eight because one five and three units is eight in our system so you might want to think about it this way eight now minus four eight minus four is four or you could do the following. You could go from 13 back four steps. One, two, three, and four. You will be at four. Okay? On the second digit to my left, I have three minus two, which is one. And that should do it. You could always double check by adding backwards. So you could add, let's say 14, I'm adding this to this, so 14 or 1, 4, and 2, 4. Hopefully, we'll get what? 4, 3. Well, 4 and 4 is 8, and 8 is 1, 5, and 3 units. So we have to carry the 1, 5, and we write the 3 units. Now, on the left, I have 1 and 1 and 2. That's a 4, which is fine in unit in base 5. So 4, 3 is correct. Check. Let's go to the second example. Here's my second example. This has more numbers in it, so let's take care of it. The units place is 4 minus 2, which is 2. The second digit to my left, which is the place of 5s, 3 fives minus 3 fives is 0. Now, 2 minus 4 we can't, so we have to go to the 5 to my left, or the fives, and borrow 1 5, and make it 0. But if I do that, the 2 becomes what? 2 and 1. So it's basically the same thing as 1 2 minus 4. What's 1 2? 1 5, 2 units, which is like 7. And that is right here. So 1, 2 in base 5 is like 7. 
7 minus 4 is 3 and that should be the answer of course you could double check just like the first example by adding 302 plus 432 and that will give you 1234 okay that should do it for this example I have four, uh, two more examples and we'll be done next one On the units place, I have 2 minus 3, which I cannot do. So I'm going to go to my uh, next digit on my left and make that one 0. Borrow that 1, 5 from my left and add it to the 2. So the 2 becomes what? 1, 2, which means 1, 5 and 2 units. And 1, 5 and 2 units is 7. Just think about it. You don't have to remember remember the chart or have the chart next to you one two means one five and two units and one five and two units is seven seven minus three is four okay now on the second digit to my left i have zero minus one which i cannot do so i'm gonna borrow from the two one five i'll make it one and i'll make the zero one zero What's one zero? It's one five and zero units. So it's like five, and which is right here. Just like five, one five and zero units. One five zero units minus one would be four. Now one minus four I cannot do, so I'll go to my left from the three. I'll borrow one five, and I'll make it two fives and the one will be one one so what's one 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 five and one unit which is like six right there so the one one means one five one unit which is like six six minus four is two and the last digit is two minus two which is zero so the answer is two four four in base 5 last example 1 minus 4 we cannot subtract so we go to the 2 and sub borrow 1 5 from it will make it 1 the 1 on the my right will be 1 1 which is 1 5 and 1 unit 1 5 and 1 unit is 6 6 minus 4 is now one minus three we cannot do we go to the three and we'll make it two and the one becomes one one again one one which is one five and one unit which is six six minus three is three two minus two is zero and four minus one is three three zero three two that's in base five you could always double check by adding three zero three two two one two three four and hopefully that will give you four three two one that should do it it's basically thinking about counting in base five and knowing what is one two one three one four and so on means one four means one five and four units which is like nine that's to do it thank you thank you for watching if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe and i'll see you next time thank you